Hey everyone, my name is Perry. I'm an electrical and biomedical engineer and today we're going to watch Cells at Work episode 8 to see how accurate all the science and technology in this anime really are. I knew that this episode had to show up eventually, and here it is. It's okay. Anything cardio related or to do with the heart, I have never been able to fully grasp, and I don't know why. It's just. Just cardio sucks. I don't know what to tell you. Like, at, at any given time in school, whenever I saw like this showing up, like anything to do with like blood or the heart, I was like, my grade's about to drop. This this is terrible. The brain and neurology makes sense. The nephron and the kidneys made sense. The endocrinology, which is the study of hormones, completely fine with. Right? I could follow all of it. Like, I actually did pulmonary research. The lungs made sense to me. Just anything cardio related. I don't know how people just wrap their heads around it because I, like from what I've heard cardio is a lot easier to understand than like neurology or even some pulmonary for some people just for whatever reason I can never understand cardiology and I'm going to do my best to explain what I know but this is going to be an interesting one. The inferior vena cava is an uphill journey for these red blood cells because you're moving the blood from the lower body and your abdomen all the way up to your heart which is going against gravity. And if you actually look really closely, all the red blood cells are like moving CO2 which is very accurate, like you're going to have deoxygenated blood inside of the inferior vena cava and then that's all eventually going to go up and be exhaled by your lungs. Every time you see that diagram, like for whatever you're learning about the heart, the right atrium is going to be on the left side and the left atrium is going to be on the right side. It looks like everything is completely flipped. And it's like, I, I know why that is, okay, like if you're looking at somebody like in their eyes, for example, like your right is their left, which is why on diagrams and look, involving the heart, they're giving you from a specific point of view as if you're looking directly at the heart itself or the person that you're working with. Instead of reliving all of those failed quizzes and terrible exams and just overall bad memories of cardiology, I'm just going to go ahead and skip and I'm going to tell you guys how to read an EKG because that's in like every movie, TV show, anime, that's in like every form of media, right? At least somewhere. And I think this is going to be the best takeaway for you guys for this video. This is going to be a very elementary, like not at all detailed instruction of how to read an EKG. If you want to know more about it, there are plenty of like nurses who can give you amazing, amazing details on how to look for like heart murmurs and other issues involving the heart. I'm just going to tell you guys how to read a healthy heartbeat and what it looks like. From this diagram, the P wave is the atria starting the contraction. The QRS complex, which is those giant up and down lines, are the ventricles contracting. And the atria is repolarizing, getting ready for the next heartbeat. And finally, that T wave are your ventricles repolarizing, getting ready for the next heartbeat. And you want that exact same diagram to repeat over and over again because that signals a healthy heartbeat and you, you want that for, you know, as, as for the rest of your life, hopefully. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you wanted to see more cells at work, go ahead and put in the comments down below. If you wanted me to watch any other movie, TV show, or anime, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay fresh and stay golden.